Now, living here in South Texas, many of us struggle with obesity, whether it's in our adult life or our childhood. Diabetes may be sort of the predisposed um, aggressor in those situations, but there is something that you can do about it. Today, we have a very special guest, Miss Emily Mitchell, joining us. She's a health coach, she's a fitness trainer, and so much more, but her story is amazing, and a lot of times it just takes hearing that one enlightening story to change your life. So hopefully this is a game changer for you today. Thank you for joining us, Emily. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Thanks for having me. Yes, I'm a newly health coach, but fitness instructor before that. Mm -hmm. And my journey started with diabetes in our back history. Um, my brother, we almost lost him um, in high school. And mm -hmm. so that was really an aha moment for me that what we put in our body really affects our health. Um, and it starts at the very foundation of the foods that we eat and, and we absorb. Um, and so then had two kids and had some pretty severe postpartum depression and anxiety mm -hmm. and um, went to the doctor like most people do. And um, they had recommended drugs immediately, which I'm not knocking that. They have, there's a place for drugs sure. in our society. But I really just wanted to try something first. I hadn't tried anything. So I started with the very first thing I knew what, how to do is exercise, uh -huh. increases our endorphins, and then food. And I truly believe through that process, um, the physical barrier opens up so much more to the mind and the body and ultimately spirituality. So. Yes, I liked the way I was looking, but even more important than that, I liked the way I was feeling, I liked yes. the way I was thinking, and I liked the way I was connecting to myself in a really spiritual way. Girl, you put it all in a nutshell, and I truly hope that's inspiring you all at home because it is a mindset. If you can do it the healthy way with diet and exercise, why not? Why take a pill? They have all these other symptoms and side effects that are gonna give you kind of adverse reactions. Postpartum depression isn't talked about enough, so I'm so glad that you've cut, you're hitting all the different bases for a lot of us, and I really hope this is encouraging you all to make a change, particularly, you know, the diabetes in your family and possibly losing your brother at such a young age is a big eye-opener. Yeah. So when it comes to childhood, I, childhood obesity, I think that's a big topic. A lot of us find that our own terrible habits have gone down to our children, and they're kind of unhealthy at a very young age. Yeah. What would you say as a coach to parents that have families like that or families that struggle with obesity in general? Yeah, well, I mean, there's a lot of contributing factors. We are a lot more sedentary than we used to, mm -hmm. to be, especially compared to two million years ago. We're not running around hunting and gathering for sure. our food. We're not running around much at all. Um, so I think for me, getting kids moving first and foremost, um, I think they say, that's why we have these Apple Watches. Mm -hmm. Why is everybody tracking 10,000 steps? Well, that's just your baseline of going from sedentary to a non-sedentary lifestyle, which mm -hmm. you really want to focus on. So I think that's important for kids too. And so with children being more sedentary, the metabolism slows down. And then now we're also adding into our diet a lot more processed foods, yep. salt, fat, and sugar, all the things that are fun and have a lot of flavor. I mean, my kids ask me for that all the time. So we don't want to completely eliminate those. Um, but it just comes with like knowledge and awareness and we set the example in our home. Absolutely. So yep. for my kids, they know that you know, there's certain foods that are gonna make us feel better and we call those anytime foods. They don't have to ask me. They can go into the pantry and yeah. those foods they can have anytime. God. And then there's some foods that are just celebratory and those those have like, you know, maybe we do that this time of day. Yeah, maybe the treat. Right. And Absolutely. then sometimes you guys, I just like to surprise them with cake for breakfast because why not? You want to you wanna build in things to look forward to and not give them a complex too. So Definitely. Well, I love this mindset. Certainly a great starting point. And I hope we can have you back to share more with our guests at home yes. about nutrition and diet advice. Stay with us. We've got more to come. It's Coastal Living.